Hey everyone, it's great to see you. Today I'm going to be fertilizing and you know just prepping the soil for the bags that go in the pot in the pots. Um, so I have my hydrangeas that are out here that I've taken out from the shed. And when I originally planted these, I used the miracle Grow potting soil, which works really well for me. But over a year, it uses up all the nutrients in that potting soil. This is different than having hydrangeas that are in your garden. You have to make sure that you're replenishing all of those nutrients there. So. I actually got back my soil tests and I'll tell you about those in another video, but the garden has plenty of nutrients, but these pots need to have that added to it. So one way you can do that is to add compost and there are many different kinds of compost. This year, I'm actually going to use earthworm castings, which yes, are earthworm droppings. Um, and this is one type of compost you can use. Now, people usually don't spread earthworm castings over their entire yard because these tend to be a little more pricey. However, I'm just doing these bags, so I decided this will be a good choice for me. These are nice and light, so it also helps to aerate the soil a bit. And as you see in here, I don't know why, but the soil does settle over time. So this will sort of bulk up what's in my bags. The other thing I'm gonna add is just a time release fertilizer. So this is Osmocote. There are many different brands. You put in whatever the recommended measurement is. This is about a small tablespoon or two, just around the top, work it in with your fingers a little bit. And then every time they get watered, they get a little release of that fertilizer. This is going to be activated by the water. So I'm gonna get to doing those things. You can see that the earthworm castings look just like really rich soil here. I just dumped it all on the leaves to begin with. Don't do that. Put it in the soil around your hydrangea or whatever plant you have here. And then you sort of want to work it in with your fingers just a little. I'm trying to be very careful not to break any of these branches, so it's a little delicate, this work. Okay, that looks pretty good. So with the asthma coat, you have a sprinkle or a pour um, station here. I tend to just pour some in my hands, a little bit like that, and they look like these little coated balls. And that's the time release piece. The only thing you wanna be mindful of while you do this is you really don't wanna drop these into the leaves because then your fertilizer is being released on the leaves. If you don't have strong enough leaves, it could burn the leaves. So you really want this to be in the soil around the plant. And now I'm gonna go ahead and do all the rest. So I went through and I added the worm castings and the osmocote to my 12 bags here. It took one bag of the earthworm castings and you know, not too much of my awesome coat, so that was really good. I mixed it in and it looks really rich. I like this. Um, first time that I'm using the worm castings and I felt like, you know, they don't smell, they have a real rich feel to them. So we'll see how the hydrangeas do this year with that. As you know, I have a bunch of these larger pots that I then do the bag in the pot within these large pots. And I've overwintered them. I just took them, put them at the side. Um, they're nice and light to pick up now because I just have the leftover dirt around the center nursery pot. So now it's time to get these ready to be planted up. And I'm going to use my worm castings here too. So a lot of this is just leaves that have fallen in the pot. Make sure you take out any debris. And overall, I pulled out what was in my rim gaps here, unless I had some perennial heuchera or creeping jenny. Um, so this one in particular does not have anything really left here. And there's quite a lot of space. 
So in order to refresh this soil, I'm going to add in the worm castings here. And this will just give it some added nutrients. I'm really liking working with the worm castings. It, it smells like fresh forest dirt. You would never know that this is actually worm poop, but it is going to make this so much better for planting. So this one is all set and ready to go. Let me show you the others I've already prepped. So in this particular one, you can see that I have some of the Creeping Jenny coming back. So I just carefully took out any of the debris and left the Creeping Jenny. I'm really glad to see it poking its heads up here. That'll look beautiful. Over here, I have some more. So in this rim gap here, I see some Creeping Jenny coming back and I also have some heuchera that I had put in here. So I cut off the dead parts of the heuchera. I get a lot of dead leaves and now it's ready to come back. And finally in this one, this is dressed up ball gown heuchera. Um, one of the new heuchera out from Proven Winners this year that I got in the fall. And wow, did it overwinter fabulous. So I think I might need some more of this, but I've added the worm castings in between and we're all ready to go. It is still too cold to plant up these planters, but boy, I am going to be ready as soon as it is nice outside. Of course, I'm not sponsored by any earthworm casting brands out there. I just happened to find these on Amazon and I'm really happy with how it's working so far. We'll see how it goes throughout the season. Hopefully, I will have some beautiful pots of flowers here. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.